Crime Fighters, the number one security program on television. This week on Crime Fighters, we are taking a recap of the Inspector General of Police major achievements vis-a-vis his eight-point strategy of crime control. It is a must-watch. On our confession segment, we bring you the story of Samuel Okoro, who took advantage of the weakness of some ladies to rob them. It is quite interesting and revealing. So sit back and enjoy the program. Since the inception of the Tafah Balogun led administration of the Nigeria Police Force, there appears to be no dull moments for the personnel of the force, more so the Inspector General of Police himself, a firm believer in walking the talk and not just sermonizing. It was therefore not surprising that the outgone year was packed with activities and events that brought about the best in the IGP. Tag along as we periscope the activities of the amiable Inspector General of Police in the year 2004. The eight-point strategy of crime control initiated by the IGP upon assumption of office in March 2002 has remained the guiding and working tool of the present Police High Command. Like wine that gets better with age, the eight-point strategy was employed to the letter and with resounding results in 2004. On crime control, the police, under the leadership of Tafa Balogun, was at its best as the police checkmated and arrested 3,787 armed robbery suspects, killed 1,694 in combat, recovered over 5,000 firearms and more than 400,000 ammunition. In the course of this, 54 policemen paid the supreme prize with their lives while 39 others were injured. Another area where the Inspector General of Police shone like a million stars was in the area of crisis and conflict management. This was amply exhibited on all the occasions in 2004 when the Nigeria Labour Congress planned nationwide strike actions to protest the hike in the prices of petroleum products. The IGP ensured that all state commands were fully prepared to deal with any untoward situation without the brutality associated with such actions. The IGP's role in the last nationwide strike was really instructive. After an appraisal of the situation, he warned the federal government that the police may not be able to deal with the crisis because Labour's preparation for the action was massive. It was after this that the federal government deemed it fit to commence negotiation with labor leaders and thereby averted what would have been a debilitating strike action. The police was also quick to nip in the bud crisis situations in places like Kano, Newman, Jega, and to an extent Yelwa in Plateau states. Although it did not attain a crisis proportion, the nation woke up in August 2004 to the stunning discovery of several corpses at two shrines in Okija town, Evil Forest, in Anambra state. Police immediately stepped into the matter and in the course of investigation arrested 31 suspects in connection with the discovery. The Inspector General of Police personally visited the shrine on 17 August 2004 for on-the-spot assessments. Training is high on the list of the IG's eight-point strategy, and concerted efforts were made to ensure that quite a good number of police personnel undertook one form of training, either locally or abroad. In all, a total of 147,347 officers and men have been trained locally since 2002, while several senior officers attended overseas training in Italy, Britain, India, Ghana, South Africa, Indonesia, Jordan, and Sweden. In 2004, over 300 officers and men of the Nigeria police participated in a United Nations peacekeeping mission across the world. Worthy of mention is the United Nations mission in Liberia, where the Nigeria police is contributing over 150 personnel. Anti-corruption is another key issue in the eight-point strategy of the Inspector General of Police. The ongoing war against corruption was carried out with sustained vigor and interest. 
during the year, the force anti-corruption and monitoring teams arrested 105 policemen for various acts of corruption and since been dismissed from the force. There is no gain saying that the public image of the Nigeria police has been on the upward swing since 2002. And this, no doubt, is as a result of the robust public relations strategy employed by the Inspector General of Police. 2004 saw the IGP initiating more innovative ways in dealing with issues affecting the police and the public. One of these was the establishment of Functional Public Complaints Bureau and Human Rights Desk at the Force Headquarters and in all the state commands to receive and investigate complaints against police actions. The IGP maintained regular meetings with media owners, publishers and their representatives which have facilitated better understanding and appreciation of the operational circumstances and limitations of the Nigeria police. Following government's acceptance of the concept of community policing, yet again initiated by Tafar Balogun, the president launched the project at a colorful ceremony in Abuja in April 2004. The police high command commenced the implementation of community policing to encourage active participation of members of the public in policing their communities. To this end, six police officers were trained in London, five in Houston, in the United States of America, to understudy the concept, its core values and implementation. The officers constituted the pioneer team that started and completed the pilot scheme of the program in Enugu State. A workshop for commissioners of police was also held in Joss, Plateau State, to acquaint them with community policing concepts. The IGP encouraged increased relationship with other security services and as the need arose, sanctioned collaborative efforts between the police and other security agencies. The last item on the IGP's eight-point strategy is welfare package and every police personnel will tell you that they have never had it as good as they did in 2004. Regular payment of salaries and allowances was sustained all through the year, while stagnation in ranks has been overcome through regular promotions. Altogether, the present police leadership has promoted 130,000 policemen since the mantle of leadership fell on them in 2002. The group personal accident insurance, also initiated by this regime, has been well received by men of the police force. Several families or next of kin of policemen who died in line of duty received between 500,000 Naira to 4 million Naira in 2004. In addition to this, concerted efforts were made last year to adequately accommodate policemen through the building of befitting quarters for them. In appreciation of the top quality service the police is rendering the nation, several state governments have been heeding the IG's call for assistance. In fact, the year 2004 ended on a beautiful note for the police with the massive donation of 33 vehicles, 100 motorcycles and 20 horses by the Kanish state government. The year 2004 was a swell one for the IG on the international scene as he was elected the chairman West African Police Chiefs Committee, WAPCO, shortly after successfully hosting the sixth session of the WAPCO in Abuja. Delegates from over 10 countries, including the heads of police in Ghana, Cote d'Ivoire and Benin Republic, attended the Abuja meeting. The Secretary General of International Criminal Police Organization, Interpol, Ronald Noble, was also there to give solidarity to the Inspector General of Police.